So uh, I always had something for uh, you know storytelling uh, uh, in general, uh, but I was uh, born with a talent to physics and math, and um, it was it was always uh, clear to everybody that this is the career that I will uh, pursue, uh, and that. I might be the first person from my hometown to attend this very uh, prestigious university of engineering. So without thinking much, I go to study engineering. And I enjoy it, you know, because I was, it was easy for me. It's a new uh, city. I moved to a new city. It was a new beginning and I like new beginnings. Uh, and only towards the last year when I started interning for this professor of mine and, and his company, he has a company, I realized that even if I tell him now that I'm going to be away from work for two weeks. He can call anyone, anywhere in the world, from New Zealand to China to Europe, and just have them come and do my job. So there's nothing unique about what I do. And this made me think. This made me question all the decisions I've made. Uh, and then I finished school and I went to work in a restaurant. <laughs> and the first thing I did is make a short film. And then this film made it to um, uh, it's international. It was a part of an international uh, student film festival, and uh, there I met Tiaron, who's my uh, co-writer, co-director, and Ajami. And he told me, "Let's let's do something. Let's do something together." I said, "What do you mean? Let let's write something, do a film together." I said, "But I'm not, you know, uh, yeah, I'm not a filmmaker. I'm not." I said, "No, you are. You just made a film." And this is where I started to gain confidence in the sense that you know I can choose. I could choose what to do. There's a lot of, uh, uh, you know, insecurities, a lot of uh, uh, challenges in, in making and taking a decision, you know, of to stop something, a pathway that was very secure in the sense that you can have a job, pay the rent, uh, to go to to an adventure that is, you know, the unknown. You know, uh, in Ajami, it it started because you know we wrote the script, being aware that we're telling different realities. And we don't want to pollute it with our very narrow-minded vision about life. And uh, we thought that the best way to do it is to bring real people from the real background of the characters we've written, because the characters are, are of course, they're a work of fiction, but they're based on real characters and real stories. And then each person would bring his own language, his own background, his own feelings, his own emotions. And that would help us not put the words in their mouths. So the whole film is improvised. They never saw a script. They never knew what the story is about. And the casting is a long process in which you teach the participants uh, to get rid of the sphere of uh, failure, which, is, which results in the fear of you know, the camera. You know, when you switch on a camera, people are afraid because they don't know what is, what is needed of them. They don't want to embarrass themselves. They want to deliver to you what you expected them to deliver, but they don't know what you're expecting. So it's, it's this idea of like uh, getting rid of judgment and then getting to know them. And we picked uh, the people based on their similarities to the characters we've written. So it's not 100% you know, similar, but if I needed someone that has a, like, you know, a short fuse, so I'd pick this person because he truly has a short fuse and it comes from a very similar background. Yeah. So it's more collecting than controlling in that sense. And it's more uh, sitting back and trusting others than being a, like, a, like a control freak. It's like, oh, no, no, this, I don't like the way it's, it doesn't exist in my way of work. It's like, oh, please don't smoke that this way. Or th there's no even blocking. So I, I won't tell people like, yes, yeah, sit like this, put your, uh, cross your feet or, or your legs or whatever. And uh, can you give me a little bit of your side? It doesn't exist, you know? And I use people, real people, with the real um, professions. So if I need a doctor, it's a real doctor. If I need a policeman, it's a real policeman. With the real clothes. So I don't, I don't give them clothes that are not theirs. I go with, with um, uh, the wardrobe people to their houses, and we pick the clothes that uh, they have. I pick it for them. I take them, so just to make sure that we have them. And, and then I give them on the day of the shooting, I give it to them. And, we, and it's, it's a different method, so we shoot the film chronologically because I cannot give them a script. And we shoot it with two cameras, so it's messy in terms of production. So we, so we have to come back to the same location. But there's, there are ways to resolve everything. So it's a long process uh, of uh, 
casting and preparations. The filming itself, it's very quick. Uh, it's with two cameras, no blocking. It's like creating the conditions for the situation and documenting it, basically. You know, when I come to Fest, uh, I always have, you know, the faces. Like, I, these are people that I see once a year, you know, and I can name like, you know, dozens of them, but I look forward to see, to see them again. And I give them a hug as if I saw them yesterday. I was here before the pitching forum even started. You know, I was here, I think, in the first year of the training ground, uh, the second year maybe, when there were like only master classes, and then we added up the they added up the the workshops, and um, the industry meetings, and it keeps growing and growing and uh, and developing organically. What's what's brilliant about the team and Philippe and the people that run this festival is they don't come with prescriptions that they copy from somewhere else. They don't say, oh, this worked well in this festival, let's try it here. No, they truly listen and talk to people. And you see everybody always talking and, and checking what is working, what is not working. And what's brilliant about Fest is uh, that they're not afraid of trial and error. A lot of times they will try something and they'll give it a chance, maybe a year in, in, or two, and then they will change. They're not afraid of changes all the time. There's a lot of risk when you become a professional because you have an idea of how things are supposed to work, but life changes. You change. Things change all the time. So, you, so theories, you know, is what you deserve eventually. It's like you have your theory and, 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 and this is what you take from it. And you need to be very open. And this is something that I, I constantly see here, like all those changes that happen. If something is working, so it's like it's, it doesn't stop there. People are always thinking about, okay, how can we make it even better than this? You know, and it's, uh, it's brilliant, I think.